Hello friends, this video on symmetry part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us talk about a special case that is the regular polygons. Regular polygons are those polygons which have equal sides and equal angles. What, what are polygons? Polygons are like poly means many. So those closed figures which have many sides. So they are just made up of line segments. They are closed figures and those figures where all the line segments or all the sides are equal in length, all the angles are equal in length, such type of a polygon is called a regular polygon. So let us take some examples of regular polygons. So on the screen you see a triangle. So a triangle with all sides equal and all angles equal. What is that triangle called? That is called an equilateral triangle. Similarly, a four-sided figure that is a quadrilateral with all sides equal, all angles equal is nothing but a square. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. So here you have five sides and all the five sides are equal in length. So a, a polygon with five sides is called pentagon since all the sides are equal in length. Therefore, this is called a regular pentagon. So these are the three examples of regular uh, polygon I have, which I have considered here. Now let us look at the lines of symmetry for these regular polygons. Now let's start with the equilateral triangle. So here you see this line acts as a line of symmetry because it divides the triangle into two equal halves. Similarly, this line also acts as a line of symmetry because this divides it into two equal halves. This line also acts as a line of symmetry. So basically three lines from the three vertices to the opposite side acts as the three lines of symmetry. So total how many lines of symmetry you have in this case? Total three lines of symmetry. Okay, let's move on to the square. So in case of a square, you have a horizontal line of symmetry dividing it into two equal halves. You also have a vertical line of symmetry which again divides it into two equal halves and you have two diagonal lines of symmetry. So all in all you have four lines of symmetry like this. So one, two, three and four. So there are four lines of symmetry in case of a square. How about a regular pentagon? So in a regular pentagon again from every vertex you draw a line to the midpoint of the opposite side. So like for example here from this vertex, let's name this as A, B, C, D, E. So if you draw a line from A to the midpoint of C, D, that is the opposite side, it divides it into two equal parts. Similarly, draw a line from B to the midpoint of opposite side, it divides it into two equal halves. From C to the midpoint of A, E, again from D to the midpoint of A, B, from E to the midpoint of BC and in all of these scenarios you saw that the line divided the pentagon into two equal halves. So each of these lines were lines of symmetry. So total how many lines were there? Total five lines were there. So that means an equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry, square has four lines of symmetry and a regular pentagon has five lines of symmetry. So what do we conclude looking at these examples? So we conclude that if it is a regular polygon, then the number of lines of symmetry is equal to the number of sides in that polygon. For example, in an equilateral triangle, how many sides do you have? You have three sides. Therefore, you have three lines of symmetry. In a square, you have four sides. Therefore, you have four lines of symmetry. In a regular pentagon, you have five sides. Therefore, you have five lines of symmetry. So it is pretty simple to remember. Regular polygons always have multiple lines of symmetry. So they have, they always have more than one line of symmetry and the number of lines of symmetry is always equal to the number of sides in the polygon. So can you tell me how many lines of symmetry would be there in this regular hexagon? So this is a regular hexagon. That means how many sides it has? It has six sides. Therefore, it would have six lines of symmetry. So which would be those six lines of symmetry? Lines joining the opposite vertices like these. So the line joining the opposite vertices, one, two, and three. So in this fashion you have three lines of symmetry. Now the lines joining the midpoint of the opposite sides that is one again midpoint of the opposite sides this is two again midpoint of the opposite sides this is three. So total three plus three that is six. So six lines of symmetry would be there in a regular hexagon. 
So let us quickly compare the number of lines of symmetry in an equilateral triangle with that of an isosceles triangle. So equilateral triangle we have already discussed all the sides are equal so in this case you have three lines of symmetry. So the line drawn from any vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side is a line of symmetry. So these are the three lines of symmetry in an equilateral triangle. But when it comes to an isosceles triangle, so the line drawn from the vertex to the midpoint of opposite side such that these two sides are equal in length. So in this case, the two halves are identical. So the isosceles triangle has a vertical line of symmetry. But if you draw a line from this vertex to this midpoint of this side, so then these two triangles, the two halves are not identical. So this doesn't act as a line of symmetry. So how many lines of symmetry you have in an isosceles triangle? Only one line of symmetry. And why is there a difference in the number of line of symmetry? Because in equilateral triangle, all sides are equal. So it is a regular polygon. Therefore, it has multiple lines of symmetry. But in isosceles triangle, only two sides are equal and therefore you come across only one such line which can divide it into two equal halves. Therefore, it has one line of symmetry. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.